Alison Russell has been waiting six years for justice for her daughter. Would have to have been one of the strongest people I've ever known and, that, and everybody who knew her would have said that same thing about her. Kira Lee McLaughlin was found unconscious in her bed in 2014 at a rural property near Gympie with 105 bruises from head to toe. Today, Deputy State Coroner Jane Bentley found the person most likely to have inflicted the injuries was the 27-year-old's de facto partner, Paul McDonald, who she was living with at Wolvi. It was above what I expected um, it to be handed down. The inquest found Ms McLaughlin died from injuries inflicted on her by Mr McDonald on July 16, most likely a brain injury caused by pressure to her throat. Coroner Bentley says it occurred after an argument where Ms McLaughlin told him she wanted to end the relationship. I find that Mr McDonald has a propensity to inflict severe physical violence on his partners and is a habitual perpetrator of severe and domestic abuse, including coercive control of his partners. Mr McDonald failed to call for medical assistance until 2pm the following day. Ms McLaughlin died in hospital from swelling of the brain. The medical evidence that was presented by the coroner's office was extremely... Powerful. No one has ever been charged over the 27-year-old's death. A podcast helped drive a push for the coronial inquest, which began last year. We couldn't ask for a better finding and just all the work we've done, you know, to get here, it was a pretty, pretty long road. The family's lawyer wanted Coroner Bentley to refer the matter directly to the Queensland Police Homicide Squad, but it's now likely the findings will be handed to the Director of Public Prosecutions. Finally, putting the wheels of justice in motion for Ms McLaughlin and her family. Amy Sheehan, ABC News, Sunshine Coast.